this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for The Walking Dead Season 3, and this is called Clear. Uh, so let's talk about this episode. This is actually a really story-driven episode, where we get a character we have not seen since Season 1. And, uh, Season 1, I guess, episode, yeah, Episode 1, really. Um, and that's Morgan. And if you remember, Morgan was the guy who helped Rick. Told him about the zombie apocalypse, and then they were supposed to have a radio and um, to radio each other every time at noon, where um, they would contact each other. But that didn't end up happening because of all the drama. So now we get to see where Morgan's at. Um, his son has died, um, and Morgan does this sound familiar? Is going crazy. So. He is writing on the walls, he has booby traps, he is a different guy because his son did die. And um, there's actually a powerful uh, thing that I'll talk more about um, as this review goes on. But we get to see a powerful story where we, we saw in the beginning of the episode, or in the first, really the beginning of the series, um, we get to see Morgan can't kill his wife. And this is more showing exactly what the zombie apocalypse is. It's the people who you love that you kind of have to kill. Now, Morgan didn't have the strength. He was weak. Um, and now, his wife is the one who killed his son because his son was weak. He's, he couldn't shoot she couldn't shoot his own mother like Carl did, actually. Um, Carl did have the strength to do that for Lori. But we get to see the differences between those two also, which I just noticed. We get to see the difference how Carl did have the strength to do it and more like his father. And um, I think, I don't remember the son's name, but um, the son of Morgan was like Morgan and did not have the strength to kill um, his mother and see where they're both at. Um, they're both crazy, but um, I think with this episode we're not going to see Crazy Rick anymore. We're going to see minorly <laughs> Crazy Rick. Um, and he actually makes a joke out of it in this episode, Rick, um, where he says, you know, I'm crazy, I can't drive. And um, Michonne says, you know, I used to see my ex-boyfriend, well not ex-boyfriend, but my boyfriend that died. Um, so, we're all a little crazy in this zombie apocalypse. Um, also in this episode, um, we get to see Carl and Michonne. They're, they're teaming up to uh, get this picture. Really, um, the father, Rick, thinks that they're getting a crib, which they do get also. But um, they get a picture at this cafe where it's Lori, Rick, and little Carl. And um, he wants that for ass kicker, <laughs> Judith. So, that's it was a really powerful episode. Um... I think this episode really proves you don't need action in every episode. And when I complain about episodes where the story doesn't progress, a lot of people say, yo, you didn't like it because there was no zombies. It's not an action show. Um, I do believe that. I do believe um, sometimes it could be a little boring without action. But you're right. <laughs> there doesn't have to be every episode. doesn't have to be action. But the story does need to progress and it needs to have something there. And there's some episodes, I think you guys could agree, where the characters don't develop and they're kind of seeing the same thing over and over again. It's a slow episode and really nothing gets accomplished. There are episodes like that. You guys have to agree. But this one wasn't. And I think should learn from other episodes. There wasn't much action. There were zombies, but it wasn't much. Not someone died, you know. Um, usually when it's a really good episode, someone dies, you know. Um... I think we could all agree with that. But it showed that you don't have to have a really good episode where someone dies and still have a really good episode. Um, this is just character development and really showing, really comparing the past to where we're at now. Comparing season one. And we have not seen that in the longest time. And really bringing Morgan in showed exactly where Rick is at. Um, I think he finally realized in this episode, after seeing Morgan, it's like, this is how I acted. This is this can't be me. I, I can't live like this. And I think that's how he finally realizes that he can't be crazy. Yeah, he can see Lori and Shane sometimes, but he can't be crazy. Um, he can't be like Morgan because he's going to end up like Morgan. Um, so I really like that aspect. I think this was the perfect episode to show Rick not to be insane anymore. I think this was the perfect way to do it. Um, it's showing a character where they really did start at, at the same points and end up in different places. Um, I thought Morgan's performance, the actor who plays Morgan, was brilliant. Um, I definitely got a little teary-eyed um, when he told his story about his son and um, the mother, and I could really picture that happening, see it really happening, the way he explained it. Um, the emotion was there, and I, that performance was great. Um, I think that was really um, probably my favorite part was where Morgan was explaining everything. And also a funny part in this episode, whereas uh, Carl and Michonne are really 
getting close, and um, I think we needed that too, because I felt like Michonne, she was a really cool character in the comic books, but we haven't really seen that in the show. She's just very silent, which she is in the comic books, but I felt like she shot, I, I don't read the comic books, but I've, what I've heard, I think she shined a lot in the comic books with her silentness, but she's shined in a different way. And now she's actually shining. We had a chance to actually learn who she is. Um, we get to see, yes, yeah, she's her silent self. We like that. But she became likable, honestly. She, I mean, she was always likable, but now she became lovable. And uh, I can see why people will see her as her, you know, favorite character now. And not just, just the TV viewer can see her as a favorite character. Because she showed who she is. We understand she's going to be a quiet person, because that's who she is. Um, she's going to have that scoff sometimes. But um, she explained herself, and now we can see those little one-liners um, could really come from Michonne and uh, see that happening. And I think she, at this moment, she really joined the group. And Eva Carl said, I think she's one of us. Um, and I think that's perfect, because you could really see her as part of the group now. She wasn't that outsider. She really was part of the group. I can see a Carl Michonne connection um, and a good friendship there. Um, and there's a really good moment in this episode where Carl gets the picture, which I thought was perfect. He's like, I wanted this for my baby sister. And I think that was perfect that he went in for that, even though he's a little annoying. I'll talk a little bit about that. Even though it was a little annoying to get it, but I saw his heart in it. But, um, Michonne goes back and is like, I want to get the picture, but I also want to get this cat. It was beautiful. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, let it go. And I thought that was awesome. That just showed her character. And that she could be funny. Yes, again, she just showed her character and I really liked that. She became likable to me in this. She became a lovable character in this episode, and I really liked that. Um, now let me talk about a little bit of the bad. It's not really a lot, because this episode I thought was really good. Again, it was a really good story episode, but I'll talk more about that. But, I think... The bad was that Carl, he's a little annoying to me, and I think towards the beginning of the episode you saw that, he's like, I could do it, I could do it. You know, if you if you were a strong character, you don't have to say I could do it, you just do it. And I think I finally realized that in this episode. It's like, um, you don't have to keep saying, it's like Angie, it's like, I could do it, I'm, I'm that powerful, I could kill zombie. Don't worry, I'll go out on my own. You know, that's what Andrea and Carl do. They they just think that's cool. But that does get annoying a little. But you could just do it, and that's how you're powerful. Just do it. Don't say, I could do it. Just do it. And um, I think that was a little annoying, but I finally discovered what made Carl annoying. But there was heart in it. There was heart for what he did. And that's why I liked his character in this, too. And again, the relationship with him and Michonne were great. And I think that worked really well in this episode. Um... I was actually a little skeptical about this episode, too, because, like, oh, it's just Rick, Michelle, and Carl, you know, how is this going to work? Is that the whole group? And I think it was actually more powerful because it wasn't the whole group. It wasn't concentrating on this big group and this big action, honestly, the big story. I think it was just concentrating on these three characters, and that was needed. Concentrating on Morgan also, which was very interesting. Um, another one problem, which was actually with the editing, it was um, at the 44-minute marker, I recognized, um, when Carl goes out, up to the cafe. He's looking at the cafe, and Michonne's going to drag, drag him out. But there's actually a cut where it doesn't match. So if you guys look back, there's a the editing was really bad at that moment. I've actually never seen that, you know, in recent memory, that they, I can actually recognize the edit was that bad. I felt like they didn't look over it. Um, so they should have fixed that. It was kind of annoying for me. Um, so you can see it was really inconsistent at that point. Is when he goes to the cafe. So if you have DVR and you taped it, or if you watch the episode again, you'll probably notice that. Um, that was just a minor problem, honestly. I just noticed it and I want to bring it up to you guys. But again, um, the beginning of the episode with Carl was eh, a little annoying. But you get to see towards the end of the episode with Carl, he grows also. And I can't wait to see more of him and Michonne. I really hope they get to see that shine a little bit more of their friendship. Um, really good episode, guys. Um, it proves that you don't have to have action in every episode. It proves that you can still have a good episode with just story and character, uh, character development. And um, some episodes need that. But we can't have episodes where it's just very slow and nothing happens. They just repeat everything. And there are a lot of episodes with that, especially in season two, I think. This is a character development episode. Um, this is the definition of a character development episode. So watch it. Um, really one of the best episodes of the season, I think. And um, really comparing season one to season three, even showing in the last part of this episode where um, we see this guy, you know, he, he wants help. And we see he dies in the end. And they don't really care. They really can't care because it's a zombie apocalypse. In season one, they would care. Um, and we get to see that. And we get to see him change. They have to care about the supplies and not him. So we get to see how different they are, and I think, again, it's just a great comparison to season one and where we're at now. If you want a really retrospective episode, it was here. 
and um, I think they did a brilliant job with it. It wasn't just like, oh, you remember that? It wasn't that type of retrospective episode, but there are points where you could say how things changed, and that's why this episode is really great. Um, guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this is actually one of the best episodes of the season? I honestly do. Even though there wasn't a lot of action, it's one of the best episodes of the season, and it made me teary-eyed and actually made me care a lot. And I think Morgan did a great job, and hopefully we do see him in the future. Um, hopefully he doesn't die, because he is out on his own. He didn't want to go with Rick. Do you think maybe he will see him again? I don't know, but it was very interesting. Tell me your favorite parts. Mine was Michonne and Carl getting... It. Michonne talking about the cat. I thought that was hilarious. And then, of course, Morgan's performance about his son. So I hope you guys enjoy this comic and I'll have another review for The Walking Dead next week. And um, there's only a couple more episodes of the season. So uh, definitely getting towards the end. So... Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.